Welcome, Welcome to, to Team B Farm. Farm. Today we're going to st show you how we studied Lewis and Clark. Mm -hmm. We just finished a really fun unit study on Lewis and Clark and we had lots of interesting activities. So we hope you enjoy this video. If you're new here, we are a homeschooling family with four girls baby boy due in two weeks now. <laughs> um, and we love to take videos showing what we've done in homeschool, what we're doing around our farm, and some things that we're doing to have fun. So if you're new here, please subscribe, and we hope you enjoy the video. Enjoy it. <laughs> We based our novel study off this. Mom found something on Teachers Pay Teachers. Yeah, so uh, we really like these who was, what was books. We've talked about those a lot before, but why do you like those? I like them because they kind of show both sides of the story. Plus, there are some cute books and there are some informative books. Cute books tend to use exclamation marks and descript and non and a playful description. Straightforward book. Educate informative books use straightforward text, and these who was are cute. So they're cute, but you also learn something, right? Yep. And on the back of this, then it does a little quiz. Mm -hmm. Which of these facts are true? And it checks all of the above. Mm -hmm. And so, the other thing we were just talking about is there's lots of pictures in the book, so it's fun for the kids to get to see. You want to show one off? Okay, so like Bug was saying earlier, I went on Teachers Pay Teachers oops, and found a unit study based on this book. This one did cost money, but I will link it down below. I really liked this one because this is Bear's work here. It had uh, vocabulary words, um, and then there was a grammar or language arts activity to go along with each chapter. Grammar. <laughs> Bug loves grammar. So um, this one was talking about the Louisiana Purchase. So um, she had a word bank and we were filling in things like that. But each, each lesson did something different. Okay. So um, we would start our mornings reading a chapter in this and working in our notebook. And then we tried to do at least one fun activity each week. So you'll be seeing those if you stick around for the rest of this video this on Sakakawea. Yeah, so the Sakakawea, Bug likes to say... Sakakawea. Because <laughs> she read somewhere that that is the correct way to pronounce it. So um, we also read this book on her. A lot of the information was redundant because we'd already studied Lewis and Clark in depth, but that was okay. And I did find this unit study, which was free online, which I'll go ahead and link that down below. And... Um, this one was a little more straightforward straightforward it was just kind of a biography of her life but it did have a timeline that went with it and um i think that the girls learned something so between these two books and a whole stack of books from the library we were able to put together a pretty comprehensive unit so we're gonna go ahead and show you off some of the activities that we did bug think back for a minute of all those activities what do you think was your very favorite? Um, I think my favorite was the moccasin. The moccasins, that was really cool. I think mine's probably when we when we actually went on our field trip. I love that. <laughs> that was really cool. And the Louisiana purchase activity was really cool too. Oh, and I have something to add about the Who Was books. Scooch over here so they can see. They it. tend to make people with big heads. <laughs> So the girls and I just finished reading a little bit more about the Louisiana Purchase and in 10 seconds, who can tell us why the Louisiana Purchase was important? Bug? It was important because it expanded the U.S. It expanded the U.S. and that spearheaded Lewis and Clark's expedition because President Jefferson wanted to explore it and see if it was good for settlers and to see if there was a... Waterway. Waterway. Of course Waterway. it was good for settlers. Otherwise, so many people wouldn't be living in, say, Montana. <laughs> well, we know that now. So, we a have waterway? a waterway like a river or something that they could ship things on, move, move things. Okay, so we have a map of the United States covered in parchment paper. And Your job to... Mix. And cookie mix. Does anyone have any thoughts about what we might We're be doing? Cookies. We're gonna make cookies like um, in the shape of a Louisiana. 
We are going to try and make a cookie the shape of the United States. And then when we frost it, we will frost where, <laughs> hi boo-boo, bu we will frost where the original, how many states were there at the time of the Louisiana Purchase? Okay, there were 13. 17. 17, so we'll, we'll frost where the 17 states were, where the Louisiana Purchase was, and then where Oregon country was over here. Right. So we're gonna get started by go ahead and making our sugar mix. So what what part is Boo Boo gonna frost? The Louisiana, Louisiana Purchase. Boo Boo, can you frost the Louisiana Purchase? So Bug's making us a map showing us Lewis and Clark's whole trip. All right, so oh, yeah, how was today's experiment? It was great. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, Bear, what was today's project? I'm making a, a Lewis and Clark journal look. Mm -hmm. So Lewis and Clark were told to keep journals of their travels and the animals and plants that they saw. So we made a leather band journal by rubbing um, a paper bag and then stitching stuff inside and we just went out on a na nature walk around our farm so the girls job today is to draw pictures or write about what they saw out and around our farm all right so today the girls are making cradle boards and why did we make cradle boards so, because it's the cockawea carried pomp around in it here's my baby <laughs> we printed off baby templates and this is the baby I created. Yeah, so I will link the website down below that had the exact dimensions, but we made this out of a paper bag and it is a, a sh similar to a Shoshone cradle board that Sacagawea would have carried pomp in during the expedition. And what did you think of this activity? It was really it was cool really making fun. the cradle board. <laughs> All right, Bear, show us how you put it on. <laughs> Perfect, can you turn around? Today, the girls are making what, girls? We're decorating our, we make the cheese and we're decorating our moccasins. Yes. So we um, found patterns in these two books that we checked out from the library. The Lewis and Clark Expedition and a Kid's uh, Native American History, a Kid's Guide to Native American History. And they had patterns for both moccasins. Bear, why was it so important that we learned to make moccasins? They, um, because they only stayed a couple days. Yeah, so the um, on the Lewis and Clark Expedition, they had to make a new pair every day or two. So. Um, we learned how to make the moccasins, and then we also made the parfletch pouches that were common to the Shoshone people. They would keep their dried meat and their fruit in there, and dried fruit. All right, so here's Bear's pair of moccasins and her parfletch. I do have to say that this was a very mom-intensive project and to get all four kids it has taken a few hours so um <laughs> you want to be prepared for that and this is just the leather cloth that you would use to like dry a car we did buy one pack at target um i think that was like 15 dollars, but we got it home and it was really really small um so not enough for all four of our kids so we were able to order some on amazon a big pack so that's uh our recommendation all right, so one of the activities we did was making teepees just out of a paper bag with, um, gosh, what are those, shish kebab sticks? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. This one is booze. Yeah, this is booze work right here. Um, so we talked a lot about how Sacagawea experiences two different, experienced, excuse me, two different styles of living. When she lived with her original Shoshone tribe, she lived in teepees, teepees but then she was captured by the Hidatsu. And they went to 
to more of a mud hut. And we looked at pictures. We were going to make one out of Play-Doh, but we just never got around to that. But uh, making the teepees and learning about how the Native American lives in, lived in them was a very interesting and uh, kind of eye-opening experience for the girls. It was extremely interesting. <laughs> of the Lewis and Clark expedition. So we went with friends who have also been studying Lewis and Clark down to Fort Clatsop. There's a museum there and there is a replica of the fort that you can actually go inside and see how they lived for that winter. And you can't be that close to the ocean and not go for a quick visit. So it was a beautiful day. We drove to Seaside and there is a statue of Lewis and Clark there. So we made sure to snap a picture of that. It was a really fun trip. For their final project, we asked the girls to put on some kind of presentation showing what they had learned. So they chose to make a play. Bug wrote it, and then her sisters helped her act it out using some of the props that we had made. They did a really good job showing the entire Lewis and Clark journey, and it was a great way to wrap up what they had learned. Hope you enjoyed our clips from our study of the Lewis, from our expedition of the Lewis and Clark expedition. <clears throat> we'll see you next time. See ya.